A study in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology found that 25% of Americans are treated for skin conditions, with a shocking 50% of Americans over 65 years of age suffering from an average of two or more skin diseases. This same study found that skin problems are not merely skin deep. Half of the 24 conditions studied were associated with an increased risk of early death. This might surprise you, but it makes sense if we understand that skin conditions are often caused by inflammation and oxidative stress, which are at the root of nearly all modern chronic disease. It's no exaggeration to say that we're suffering from an epidemic of skin disease. And if you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you or someone you care about is affected. But here's the good news. Most skin conditions are driven primarily by diet and lifestyle factors that you have control over. And one of the most important but least known factors that influences our skin health is nutrient status. In this video, I'm gonna share five of the most important vitamins and minerals for clear and healthy skin, and I'll give you some tips on how to get enough of these nutrients in your daily routine. This will help you cultivate healthy skin from the inside out, so you can avoid unnecessary and sometimes harmful medications. Ready? Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Kresser with another Tuesday tip video for you. Micronutrients like vitamins and minerals are required for all of the processes that keep our skin healthy, including cellular energy production, defending against oxidative stress, protecting the skin barrier, keeping inflammation under control, and regulating histamine levels. So it's no wonder that nutrient deficiencies have been directly linked to many different skin diseases. For example, vitamin A deficiency can contribute to eczema, Selenium deficiency is common in people with psoriasis, and low vitamin E can cause skin ulcerations and delayed wound healing. At least 20 nutrients directly impact skin health, and many more indirectly support the skin. I cover these in detail in my free ebook, Nutrition for Healthy Skin, which I'll link to in the description. Today, let's take a look at five of the most important nutrients for your skin. The first is vitamin A, also known as retinol. You can think of vitamin A as the smooth and clear skin nutrient. It prevents the formation of clogged pores that cause acne, promotes cell turnover, and keeps our skin smooth and hydrated. This explains why synthetic forms of vitamin A called retinoids have been used as treatments for severe acne and psoriasis since the 1980s. Retinol, the active form of vitamin A, is only found in animal foods. The best sources are liver and cod liver oil, but it's also present in smaller amounts in cream and butter from pasture-raised cows and egg yolks from pasture-raised chickens. Eating liver once or twice per week is a great dietary strategy for those looking to reduce and even eliminate stubborn acne. Note that some beta-carotene, which is a retinol precursor found in brightly colored vegetables, can be converted into retinol, but that conversion is inefficient and some people can't do it at all. So getting preformed retinol from animal foods in the diet is important. Vitamin C is the protector and healer of the skin. It helps regulate collagen, a protein that maintains the skin's elasticity. The studies have shown that diets high in vitamin C are associated with better skin appearance and less skin wrinkling, and vitamin C protects against sun damage by acting as an antioxidant. Vitamin C also plays an important role in wound healing and scar tissue formation. The highest dietary sources of vitamin C include bell peppers, guava, dark leafy greens, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kiwi, citrus fruits, and strawberries. Certain fresh herbs such as cilantro, chives, thyme, basil, and parsley are also high in vitamin C. Eating a wide variety of colorful plant foods on a regular basis is the best way to get adequate vitamin C in your diet. Vitamin E is the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory skin nutrient. It's the most abundant fat-soluble antioxidant found in the skin, and it's a potent anti-inflammatory compound, defending the skin against free radicals that would otherwise cause damage. Vitamin E also works together with selenium to increase glutathione levels, one of the most important and powerful antioxidants in the body. Whole food sources of vitamin E include spinach, turnip, greens, chard, sunflower seeds, almonds, bell peppers, asparagus, collards, kale, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Vitamin K2 is the anti-aging and anti-wrinkling nutrient. It blocks the calcification of our skin's elastin, the protein that gives skin the ability to spring back, smoothing out lines and wrinkles. 
In fact, recent research suggests that people who cannot metabolize vitamin K at all end up with severe premature skin wrinkling. Vitamin K2 also supports the function of vitamin A. This means that vitamin K2 is important in the treatment of acne, keratosis pilaris, and other skin symptoms of vitamin A deficiency. Great sources of K2 include butter and other high-fat dairy products from grass-fed cows, egg yolks from pasture-raised chickens, liver, and natto. Fermented foods such as sauerkraut and cheese are also quite high in vitamin K2 due to the production of this vitamin by bacteria. It's important to note that commercial butter and other dairy products are not significantly high sources of vitamin K2 as most dairy cattle in our country are fed grains rather than grass. Only cows that graze on vitamin K1 rich grass will have high levels of vitamin K2 in their milk. So be sure to look for grass-fed dairy products when trying to increase your intake of vitamin K2. Finally, zinc is the anti-acne nutrient. It assists in the proper structure of proteins and cell membranes, improves wound healing, has anti-inflammatory effects, and protects against ultraviolet radiation. Several studies indicate that dietary zinc may reduce acne just as effectively as antibiotics like tetracyclines. This may be because it interacts with vitamin A as a component of retinol binding protein, which is necessary for transporting vitamin A in the blood. Dietary zinc is best absorbed from animal sources. Organs such as kidney and liver, red meat like beef and lamb, and seafood like oysters, scallops, and other shellfish are the highest sources of zinc in the diet. Plant foods like pumpkin seeds and other nuts can also be high in zinc, at least on paper, but they are less bioavailable sources of zinc because the zinc is bound to a compound called phytic acid, which interferes with its absorption. To get the most zinc from your diet, include shellfish, organ meats, and red meat on a regular basis. It's important to note that many people don't get enough of these five skin supporting nutrients. According to the Linus Pauling Institute, 89% don't get enough vitamin E, 67% don't get enough vitamin K, 43% don't get enough vitamin A, and 39% don't get enough vitamin C. And while zinc intakes are often adequate on paper, many people still experience deficiency symptoms because they don't get enough bioavailable zinc from animal foods like shellfish, organ meats, and red meat. If you want to ensure that you're getting enough of all of the essential skin nutrients, check out my free ebook, Nutrition for Healthy Skin. I discuss 11 additional nutrients that are critical for healthy skin, how to eat for optimal skin health, the top superfoods for the skin, and the role of supplements in meeting our nutrient needs and supporting our skin health. I'll put a link to it in the description. And that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button in the lower right and tap the notification bell so you'll be updated when I release new content. If you know someone that might benefit from this, please share it with them by clicking the share button right under the video. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next week.